guys so I'm back with another crazy product as y'all know I always always complain about my hooded eyelids so in an effort to try to do something about it I got some of the Beauty Logic eyelid tapes uh, these are the fiber lace ones so they're supposed to hide better and I want to go ahead and try these out for you they come with a little eyelid glue a little thank you card that's super sweet they come with the fiber lace this is what they look like and then you've got tweezers and this little Y tool and I will show you what that is for in just a minute uh, this is a very widely used trick like in Asia and stuff it's just kind of hidden over here most people don't even know what this is so the first thing you have to do is to take take these out of course okay and there is like several sheets of these and from what I've seen there's a very good possibility that I'm going to screw this up the first couple tries so I will probably need several of these anyways so the first thing I do is to remove this little fiber thingy with these little tweezers so that I don't touch it too much or get it dirty and whatnot. Now let me see if I can actually remove it in the right shape. That would be the true question. Oh, that just ripped a little bit. Okay. Ah. Yeah, I'm not doing so hot. I just ripped a whole lot of it off. Oops. Okay. So we're going to try to separate this and I'm not using the tweezers to separate it because this is actually really hard to get off and I'm usually decent at this stuff. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can get this to focus better. Kind of an eye shape. So basically you take it off. And it's not sticky on either side so I'm just going to go ahead and take it off of the applicator. You can see it's super transparent. <sighs> and then you take this glue and it has a little brush and you just brush that stuff onto one side of this. It comes with an applicator but from everything I've read, the applicator is kind of useless. It's just like a little pink piece of plastic that nobody can really figure out how to work. So I'm just going to apply it directly onto here. Ooh. Okay. So then you take it. And you have to close your eye and put it like above where your regular crease is. So I'm going to try this eye first. I'm going to close my eye and put it like right here. So you're going to wait till it dries a little bit before you push it into place. Now, once it is dried, which has been a few seconds, you take this Y tool and you stick it in here and what that is supposed to do and I think I put mine up too high for that to work is stick your eyelid like up some and I most definitely did put it up too high so we're just going to scoot it down to right here this is right above my regular crease and you take this and it looks scary and you push and once you think it's kind of got a hold on it, you let it go. And there's like a single side too. But you're supposed to use this side. And it is supposed to combat this hooded eyelid problem. Now I'm sure this takes more than one try to learn. Which is probably why mine's not looking so hot right now. But we're just going to keep pushing this up in here and maybe it'll stick in a minute. Ooh, 
That looks funny. Okay. I think this actually might have made it worse and that is probably my fault. <laughs> okay, so if you can't tell, this is where I have it and this is where I don't. And you can see like that it's sticking up here. And it's kind of like almost making it fold over worse for me. Which I'm sure is probably more operator error than product. So I'm probably about to try it on my right eye where I should be able to do it easier because this, friends, is not working. Okay. So let me try my other eye real quick and see if we can get that one to work a little bit better. So again, we just pull this off of here and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the glue while it's still on this plastic because that looks like it actually might be easier. <clears throat> this glue out and just brush it on if I can. There we go. Okay, so I've brushed the glue onto here, at least I, I think so. Now I'm going to pull it off this plastic. And I'm going to see if I can stick it a little bit lower. I think I got it down low enough this time. Let it dry for just a couple seconds and then we're gonna try to poke this up in here on this eye and see if this one works out better this is like super attractive right now guys like super duper attractive just if you didn't know and I have heard that if you can manage to do this right, uh, it is possible to permanently change your hooded eyelid. I think that was uh, Michelle's video where she said that if you do it for like three months and literally leave it on like 22 hours a day, it can permanently correct your hooded eyes, which would be amazing. However, that is a huge huge commitment that is a long time to leave these on okay so this one <clears throat> you can actually tell that it did do something so as you can see this eyelid is like super hooded and this one still is but it's not as bad so i think the trick is just to get it down actually kind of over your crease and then push it up because this eye let me double check myself. Yeah, this eye looks more open. It's not a whole lot, but you can see more of my eyelid over here than you can over here. Now, I don't know that I'm committed enough to do this every single day, but this is definitely something cool. Um, if you were trying to really get your like cat eye to show or whatever, this is something that could really help you out because now you have more room over here to draw out that eyeliner so i think this is going to be one of those products that if you have a need for it definitely go for it again i mean you can tell there is a noticeable difference so if hooded eyes bother you like they bother me then i would definitely try this out see if you like it and if you are committed enough maybe even try doing it for like three months straight so you can maybe permanently fix the problem. <clears throat> so I got this on Amazon and I will try to link it below. But it is just Beauty Logic tapes. I think they're like less than $10 and it looks like I probably got like 
50 of these things in here so you could use it like 25 times so it's really not that expensive definitely better than actually getting surgery to correct your eyes and uh yeah definitely a good product hope y'all enjoyed it